Welcome back, you guys. I'm your host, Sean Mercury, and we are in the Crack Pack 2.0. No, oh my God, I missed the door. Uh, door. There we go. All right. So, uh, we're not in the same spot we were when I left off. In fact, it's been about two weeks from the last thing I recorded, which probably went up like yesterday, because. I went and got married to my fiance, who is now my wife. Uh, we had a lovely ceremony, and I took like two weeks off from doing anything except for work. I had to actually go work, but uh, we're back, and I have my ship, and it is lovely. It's got all these thingies on it. But. I am purposefully not turning around because you can see the stuff in the mini map already. And I'm not going to bother with that one. You know, just for a surprise effect. But we've moved to a spot for my base. Ready? Alright, let's go ahead and start turning. Welcome to my floating domicile. Which apparently Fuse has left me a ME system, which is all ready to go. Just need to hook it up to my power. So, Fuse went and started his own little base off uh, that way, as the sign indicates. Uh, over there is Spawn, and here is my base. So, uh, yeah. I just started this thing out. I made a whole bunch of shore buffers because, like, okay, let's see what I can do. Um, let's make sure if, you know, I decide to make a fleet of ships for no friggin' reason. Which, speaking of, I have a fun idea coming up. Uh, I can park them here. But I've got my little shore buffer dock system, which I might need to extend out a little bit so it's, you know, it's wider. Um, my main ship, which is my only ship for right now, and a as you can see, there is this little platform area down here, because if you can think of what caused this to be made, <coughs> uh, yeah, I kept missing the jump. I would fall off and die. I did it like 10 times. I finally said screw it and I just kind of made platforms and then I had to extend it out again. Like I made the first platform because I missed. Then I made an another miss so I put platform out to like here. Then I missed again and I moved it out here. And I haven't missed yet. Well not you know deadly misses yet. Um, but yeah. Now, oh god. I have so much warp right now from Thomcraft. Ah, uh, Flux Flu too. Uh, mm. But yes, um, we are in a taint biome as well, so the grass is all nice and purple, which looks cool. Uh, I made a little portal to the mining dimension which uh, Fuse provided this material for me. I appreciate that. And I made another portal which I have yet to go into. And a jackass on a motorcycle outside of my home. Uh, not really surprised. It happens a lot. Uh, <clears throat> but yeah, I have yet to really go into the nether yet. I made a small uh, storage system just as a temporary at least. Yeah, I thought it looked kind of nice. I have a nice little thing. Uh, as kind of like a nice little centerpiece when I started this, I built a nice little uh, pillory thingy here. <coughs> Overhang, whatever. So you can go up and have fun on that. Uh, I made this entire thing right here, which I think I'm going to use for Botenia. Uh, which, if you don't know, is the plant-based mod has lots of flowers and stuff so I figure why the heck not let's uh like if, if I'm gonna need the thing yeah I might as well have it 
it's that or I will repurpose this into like an epic uh, ancient garden looking thing because that could be cool too now I have this over here which we'll go down and see this is one of my latest additions this is a grinder which uh, I've got this uh, the redstone cabling going up to drawbridges the drawbridges kick like crash your clients so that don't use them it looks really cool when it's down but the fact that I need to you know open it up and go in and uh, use the two auto spawners that doesn't really help anything but it's got three grinders in it and I'm not sure I might eventually add a fourth I don't think I really need it but uh, it's too high so nothing can jump up uh, spiders can get up here but well that was what the drop bridges were supposed to be for but I can block it off if I need to so far the only things I've caught are ender minis which end up in the bottom half of this there's a little access hatch sort of so uh, there's no yeah excuse me there's none of the thermal expansion uh, pipes and energy conduits so I've used uh, the build craft transport pipes to get the items and liquids around and then I've got uh, energy conduit thingies from something else. yeah these uh, mine factory reloaded rednet cables energy cables uh, to transfer the power around which goes down there which also this uh, just takes you up and down here over here is going to be the machine room once I start really collecting machines right now I've got magma crucible and a fluid transposer with a nice little tank on top uh, I'm going to line up a whole bunch of stuff here eventually uh, yeah whatever the heck I need over here is the start of my thumbcraft area in the base not the mobile base but the real base uh, so just to make sure I've got what I need you know I started building up the pedestal area uh, I need to get four more pedestals and then I need a runic matrix for the top and I can just remove this once I'm done with that uh, I'm planning out right now I'm thinking uh, for this area somewhere in this area pretty much I'm going to do e either or both uh, my nodes for my Thomcraft wands and or my uh, aspect gathering stations you know uh, well I guess it's even more complex with Thomcraft now but you guys don't really know that unless you've played with Thomcraft which I will show you some of the stuff I've got in there soon enough uh, for right now though I have my ender tank or not ender tank uh, my reactor here an ender tank class whatever uh, but I've got my reactor here which uh, very high power source it's very useful it's got a good source of pretty much everything uh, I think there's only four rods inside but the rest is filled with uh, liquid ender stuff I'm having trouble with words but yeah, ah, clipped into the wall. Alright, so yeah, there's little paths like all over the place in here. So you can get up and down where you need to. And I'll probably keep adding more. For now, I'm just slowly building up each section of this. And because you guys haven't seen this at all, uh, apparently I've been concerning Fuse because every time he comes over, he gets to see a whole bunch of new stuff because... I just start doing like massive chunks at a time like uh, <clears throat> I think a day or two ago the outside triangle sections of this weren't there and he came in beforehand then after he left I just built all of this crap right around the outside and it was like oh god if he comes over here he's just gonna probably freak about it like what the hell how are you doing this magic magic is the answer 
I've also found out that <clears throat> F7 does this. Apparently that's spawning zones. Beep. I'm slowly working on getting everything I need to done. Uh, this whole platform here is lowered in, in so it looks a little bit you know, cooler. You, it's kind of like a little assembly area almost. You, know, you, you get to look down upon it a little bit. But you know, it's a nice smooth transition. Uh, I don't know what I'm doing here really other than wall. Uh, over here there's like a little peep window and then there's this which is just a you know, a little transport area so you can go through. And you can come back right back up again. So uh, <clears throat> because I oh wait I haven't shown you guys that even have I? I started a garden over by spawn. I don't think I've shown that yet either. Which, uh, oh my god, I love this clock, by the way. It also tells you if there's any lag. Yep, they're twitched. You can watch it kind of like twitch a little bit, and if it bounces around, it it's like a good indicator for what kind of lag you've got or lat latency. These are the best things I've ever found. I love these. But yeah, so Thumbcraft. My favorite thing ever, pretty much. I have pretty much all this. To, didn't really want to do research duplication. It costs a lot. Uh, majority of this stuff, still working on a couple of things. I've got a whole bunch of neat stuff in here. Have yet to actually get all the wands, too, which is driving me nuts. Like, I need to get more of some of these things, and they don't have them. Uh, I need to start making some of these soon, because I am constantly getting hit with warp. Uh, this page is pretty much... No, this page is done. Uh, down to this one. I've got a lot of the stuff done. I need to start doing some stuff with the uh, Thaumian Fortress armor because this stuff is supposed to be like really, really good. Uh, apparently, though, there's only three pieces to this, so there's no boots, which I guess works with my boots of the Traveler. I guess. I don't really know. But the faceplate apparently has different faceplates. So I can, you know, change the faceplate out. It's kind of cool. Um, there's a whole bunch of cool stuff in here. Uh, the runic shielding is apparently all in the baubles. So you just pretty much turn these things into what you need, which is kind of cool. Uh, I'm probably going to start making this soon enough because I don't like changing into a bird constantly or not a bird but you know I don't like changing forms constantly to move about I need to get to work on some of this stuff soon too because well, they're useful they really are uh, this is still just a crowbar as far as I know um, I've got a whole bunch of stuff in here which apparently I can make a whole bunch of fire and then plants. I can make elemental plants. Let's see. Got a whole bunch of my stuff, my usual -ish stuff done. That's new. These weren't in here last time I checked. These were. Two plants for, uh, Ah, oh, sweet, they finally showed up. Ah, oh, sweetness. I was wondering when these were going to start showing up. Uh, botanical V storage. Ooh. Blood wand, infernal, taint. Yeah, these are the good ones. Of course, this is also probably going to start killing me. So, yeah. 
Uh, I'm going to go ahead and move this down. This will crash me if I'm not careful. Oh, what the heck? Alright, so I've got seals, which I was half tempted to try and use, but I don't know if I am still or not. They're kind of expensive. Uh, enchantment binding, going somewhere. Uh, night vision. Alright, and disarming. Ooh, this could be fun. I also need to figure out what the hell is up with this one. But, uh, there's two special boots I want to investigate, you know, try them at some point. Boots of the Comet, which freeze water temporarily and make you, like, faster and such. And Boots of the Meteor, which apparently make an impact when you, if you do it right. Uh, both sound really cool and fun. Oh god, that's new. Brain sanitization. You do not have the credit. Alright, brainwashing. So. Ah, uh, I really wish I could do that one too. That looks like fun. But, uh, there's a bunch of neat stuff in here. Thermostatic stabilizer, which literally says knockback nullifier. Exactly what it is. Uh, apparently, filling your belly up with foods is this one. Filling water sources. Getting rid of everything, or yeah, I had this word of glass. No, huh? Oh, that was in there with the doors and stuff. I didn't know that. Huh? Okay, that is pretty. All right. So yeah, those are a couple of things. Hopefully, I don't accidentally crash my game. Oh, and then there's this one, which is just uh, all of the metallurgy ores and such you can use. But I'm going to go ahead and uh, pop over to... Sp what are you doing, pig man? Who said you could be here? Who said you could be here? In my base. You're not allowed. Oh god, brutish. Bring it! Aha! Suck it. Can't figure that out, can you? You're not allowed here. Go away. I'm a little worried. There we go. Got him. Oh, hey, I got a pig, too. Or a brain, too. Neat. Alright. Which, actually... Okay, I have. Alright. So, like I was saying... I'll be going over to spawn to show you guys some stuff down there. Because, you know, why not? Also, uh, here's a QED, which currently says it's a quadratic equation device. Don't believe it. It's lying. Uh, this is used for a whole bunch of neat stuff. Uh, mostly, like, these node thingies and these thingies. Yeah. More stuff. Uh, making upgrade stuffs. Markers. Uh, making a magnum torch, apparently. And getting three times the ore out of certain ones. Mostly the uh, base and then a couple of others like copper and tin and such. There's actually a shiny ore. I need to find that. Oh, I gotta go. Oops. Hello, you guys, and welcome back. Sorry, uh, this is actually the next day, but we're here at spawn. 
at my floating tavern. Yay! Let's see if I can hit this. Ah, come on. Ah, I guess I. There we go. We're at the floating tavern at spawn. Uh, this is the next day. I had uh, my wife came home, and so I couldn't really get back on here for a minute, but. I have made a whole bunch of cider and wine. Uh, they were the only ones I really could make at the moment, but I've got myself prepped up to make mead and uh, ale, and if I can figure it out, uh, sake eventually. Uh, but we're here, and this is my wonderful little floating tavern. Uh, yep. Merck's Tavern, which I have been tempted to rename to something else because usually taverns and inns and such uh, we get a name based on something that happened there, to which I am considering the Burning uh, Brewmaster as a name because, well, in the upper level of here is this. It's the... Uh, brewing area and I had the kettle lit with the netherrack and the fire kept spreading over to the wood <laughs> so it kept starting on fire so I eventually had to put it out and I need to try and find a non spreading fire source I don't think nitor will work for this I could actually try I guess since I'm here yeah I don't think that's gonna do it but I thought, yeah, this was a good idea. It is not with the wood I have installed on this thing. Uh, but my little presses for the fruit, uh, apple, grapes, and I don't know if I need another one for anything. But uh, then I've got spare fermentation barrels. Uh, so far I've only worked in fours. Um, I need to make more, I guess, for each the other uh, couple of them but yep I have stocked myself up very well on ales and such oh god ah uh, god damn Thamaria and flux flu oh god damn ah uh, but uh, I've got a couple of the different types I've got potent on this one Uh, this one I have extended then I think potent and extended for the wines wait what did I what apparently I shat out some taint okay I'm a little concerned right now um yeah, I was not expecting that. So, if we come out, uh, Fuse is currently on. I've got some fun planned for him uh, once he's no longer available. But, uh, this is my floating garden. A lovely little place. Um, apparently, I have no idea how the hell you actually get the rice patties. I had I did like a uh, exchange. I grabbed a couple of them and threw uh, dirt away instead. But I don't know how they're supposed to work. It's supposed to be with the rice for growth craft. But oh hey, so this does work, huh? I tried that before and it wouldn't do anything. I guess. Oh wait, no, this is a newer version. I guess. Uh, so they probably got it all fixed up after that. Okay, so uh, I can now harvest these by right clicking them, which works because then I don't have to frickin' pull everything off. But uh, I have collected up a bunch of crap, uh, which a lot of it was used to make garden soup because that is a very versatile uh, recipe. Ah, come on. There we go. 
Um, but yeah, so this is my little floating garden. It's got the majority of the Pam's Harvest Craft foods. Uh, I'm missing like maybe two, I think. I know I'm missing onion. I got garlic. I nabbed uh, a couple from Fuse. <laughs> Sorry, bud. Uh, I also got hops here. And then apparently I've got grape hops combining on this one because well, apparently the grape crop decided to need to move over. But uh, there's plenty of different foods and PAMs that you can make so much stuff with. Uh, probably my favorite is the tea. I love tea. Tea is delicious. Uh, coffee is also really good and Fuse loves the coffee so make sure I harvest some of this up because I'll need to give him a new supply I think soon uh, but that's pretty much all this really is is just a little garden area it's very nice and pleasant you know it's got everything we need and it, I don't know what the hell is with that but that chunk does not load um, but yeah so this is my little floating garden at spawn I made a little uh, elevator path up to make it slightly easier if you don't want to, uh, you know, to morph like I do. Oh god. I'm totally dead. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and disappear since apparently I'm lagging up. I will see you guys probably in the next episode. Yeah, what the heck? Yeah, my bars have dropped. There we go. Alright, yeah, this is getting laggy. Alright, this is probably not good. I'll see you guys later. Bye! Bye-bye. I'm a wisp. Alright, there.